Hey y'all, it's Courtney Michelle and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I know it's been maybe a week or two weeks, but I'm gonna say weekly vlog because you know what, we're back. And I'm just gonna start the vlog off by giving y'all an explanation as to why like I have been so inconsistent with filming. Um, number one, filming is hard. Uh, but number two, like I've just been really sick lately and not like cough, cough, sneeze, sick. I think I just need to get my health in order. Genuinely, I could sleep for 18 hours a day. I wake up, I'm still tired. I'll go up and down the stairs a couple of times. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. And so, like, the past couple of weeks, it's literally, like, every day is like a no bones day. If you know, you know. If you don't, you need to watch more TikTok. Um, but every day is literally like a no bones day for me. I get what I have to get done, done. And then after that, like, I go and like, lay in bed. I have no energy outside of that. Um, so I'm trying to get better at that. Today I'm drinking my lemon water. It's supposed to help with your digestion and energy. Mm. There's a myth saying that that is false, but it just tastes so good. Like I don't care. So that's my craving lately is lemon water. I'm in my chicken pajamas. Um, you can't really see the glass, but I'm in my pink satin chicken pajamas. I have a black pair too. And we are just going to get ready and start the day. It's a Tuesday, but like yesterday was the first of the month and it was a Monday and it just felt so Monday and I was sick yesterday. Like, But today is a bones day. Today I'm feeling much better. I've got my lemon water, so we're gonna get ready. I am decorating for Christmas today. I want to film finally my fall czar haul because it's, I guess, winter at this point. So I wanna film that so people can get those um, items before I start stacking up for my winter wardrobe, which mostly will consist of Zara pieces because I am obsessed with Zara. So let's get ready. I'm also on TikTok Live right now, so I'm about to start that live and do my hair, and then I'm gonna turn off the live once my hair is done because I have to do a sponsored video. So I'm gonna take a break, film that, and then I'm gonna come back and do my makeup because it's for um, a moisturizer. And I'll show you guys. It's actually my favorite moisturizer right now. This is the Clinique. Moisture surge. Oh my god, is there? There's an airport not too far from me. So that happens quite often. But this is the Clinique Moisture Surge. Let me just show you how yummy and delicious this looks. I've already used so much of it because I've been using it for the past week. It is, has like a very light jelly consistency but it moisturizes the heck out of your face without being oily without being like sticky it's just like pure moisture it has hyaluronic acid and all the good things that i need already in my moisturizer before i would mix hyaluronic acid drops with my moisturizer to get that benefit but this already has it it gives you glowy bright like bouncy skin helps with um, your collagen production it's literally the best thing ever. Uh, they did not sponsor this YouTube video, but I'm mentioning them because it's my favorite moisturizer for winter because it really locks in the moisturizer, but it's not, it's not greasy and it's not. boyfriend just got his car hand washed Ooh, I have a lot of cilantro. he just got his car cleaned and he's like very obsessed with this car and he was like don't mess it up and I was like no problem so guess where I'm going straight to taco tea which is like one of my favorite taco places in the area really in general um but I'm going straight to taco tea and I'm about to eat bro what the fuck is falling everywhere to get tacos in its car so I'm really excited about that um earlier I was saying I was about to do makeup I ended up not doing makeup but just in my hair and then I did my skincare uh for that video that I had to create and 
I just put sunglasses on. Like I said earlier, I like always wait too long to eat. I don't really have any energy and I was standing there too long. I was like, oh, I need food. So I'm going to get tacos. I'm going to eat them in his car. I'm going to try not to make a mess. I really am. But if I do. So. So, um, I'm going to show y'all what I order. It's literally so close to my house. I love this place. Like during the summer, I could probably walk. I probably wouldn't then. Um, but I'm going to show y'all what I order. And then we're going to have like a little mukbang muk muk moment. And just like girl talk. Because I want to give y'all a really long like meaty vlog. Since I did not post one for a couple of weeks. Hi, can I please have four bistec tacos Mexican style with avocado? Four bistec with avocado and those are soft tacos right yes ma'am all right anything else for you a mango agua fresca do you want some with ice yes please lots of ice mm -hmm. anything else that's it that's it it's gonna be 1427 at the window okay thank you i swear they went up on their prices she just had 14 dollars, but i think it's because i got avocado and it's not avocado season but i swear that probably added five dollars but usually their tacos are like a dollar Thank you. Thank you so much. You too. I'm probably sick of me because I'm here every day. Like I literally come here multiple times a week. I'm literally about to park too, right? In their parking lot. Mm -hmm. Because I have no shame. I don't care. Oh God, but someone is parked here. Meaning they're going to see me talking to myself and eating. You know what? Mind your business. Mind your damn business. mind your business why do you care what i'm doing why are you staring at what someone else is doing in another vehicle yum so i am y'all i'm going to be a karen today let me explain i had a halloween party i said great oh Woo! I'm about to really be karen i was like i need both so let me crack the window a little bit. Or I'll do it when I drive because it's a little whatever. Okay, let me show you my tacos because I love these tacos. Literally, look how good. They're so... Ooh. Can't lose the avocado. That was like $5. Um, so, I had a Halloween party on Sunday for... And y'all y'all always ask. Like, you're like, who's that girl? Who's that girl? My boyfriend has a daughter. There, answering the question. And... Um, she was over for Halloween and so I was like you can have your friends over and then like my friends with kids I was like bring your kids over you know we can all hang out and go trick-or-treating together so I had like a little party and so like I bought some extra Halloween decor and things of that nature that I only use for one day so guess what I'm about to do return it I am I am. I'm going to return it. But listen, I do not have any shame in returning things. Like, I'm the queen of returning something. My boyfriend, when he gets something and it, like, doesn't work out, he's like, no. Like, it's staying. Me, I'm like, oh, it's been six months. I'm going to pull a Karen and find a way to return it. Mm. And when I tell you I return everything, I return furniture. I have returned toothpaste. If we're not gonna use it, if we try to, we don't like it. I'm not keeping it out of the house. I'm getting my money back. And with that being said, I shop at places with good return policies. Target, amazing. Walmart. I don't really shop there, but they do have a great return policy. TJ Maxx. Nordstrom. Fire return policies. Amazon. So, yes, I am about to go to Home Goods and return that stuff. And I don't feel bad because I shop so much at these places. 
So it's not like I'm really taking anything from these stores. I'm kind of like, I think of it as almost like a line of credit. I think of it as a line of credit because I shop there so much. There's never really a moment where they owe me money. Like, they're giving me money back. I always end up buying more things. So, I'm going to finish eating these tacos in the parking lot with no shame. And then I'm going to go to TJ Maxx and return this Halloween stuff with no shame. And then I'm going to go pick up my Christmas tree and put it up on November 2nd with no shame. This mirror is huge. It's literally, I don't know the measurements, but it is $2.99, which I think is a really good price for this size mirror. What size is this? It doesn't say, but this is really tall. Like that's like an average large mirror and this is way bigger. $2.99 HomeGoods. Oh my goodness. All I did was go to HomeGoods and I'm pooped. Like I'm exhausted. No and so around the holidays I don't know if anyone's noticed but around the holiday season a lot of like older people will work um, seasonal jobs I don't know if it's I don't know what it is but I, it's something that I have noticed and so I told y'all I had returns to make at home goods and also have some at Target but girl I'm tired I don't know if I'm making the Target today but anyway, I told y'all I had returns to, to make, and I told y'all that I am Karen, and not in like a bad way, but like I know the return policies for the stores that I do these things at, which a return is not illegal, and it's not bad. Like you can, if you are within policy, you have every right to do that, but some people try to act like it is their freaking merchandise that you're returning and get so mad. I'm like, this giant freaking corporation, like it's, it's fine, especially a place like Home Goods. Half the shit they sell is used. Like, most of that stuff is used, okay? Like, you act like it's just like the best. No, at home gets half that shit is used. So whenever people give me like a hard time about returning at home goods, I'm like, ew. So the lady that um, was helping me, my cashier, she was like an older lady and her name was Karen. And she was definitely a Karen. I was like, well, then we're gonna have a Karen match on. Cause at first she was like, oh, that's holiday. I don't think you can return. Oh my God. I got some shit. It's just falling everywhere. Um, she's like, that's holiday. I don't think you, can, you think you can return holiday. I'm like, I can. I'm like, I can look at the return policy on the receipt. Like I, I know it front to back. I can recite it like the preamble to the constitution. Okay. I know it. Um, so whatever, she's fighting me for a while. And she's like, we're just going to get the manager and she, she'll approve it. I'm like, please, like, I'm begging you get the manager. Like I told you, I'm, when it comes to this kind of stuff, I'm Karen, like, please get the manager. I was going to, I was going to ask. So thank you for taking the initiative. So I didn't have to ask. And the manager's like, chill. Like, yeah, whatever. Where's your stuff? I'm like, go. Oh. And she's literally up there telling on me. She's like, and this one is 32 days out of policy. So we won't be able to give her a refund for this. And just like saying all that stuff. And so I'm like, you are just so disgusting. Like, I'm, ugh. But then I felt bad because, like I said, she was, like, a little bit of an older lady. And I could tell she was kind of working there season seasonally. Uh, by the end of it, we ended up being buddies. But I was like, if you want to have a Karen match off, you pick the right one. Because I'm telling you, I will out Karen the best of the Karens. Um, I'm pretty freaking tired. But I still have to go get my Christmas tree. I'm going to at home. Life hack, if you want an artificial Christmas tree, a good one too, like pre-lit, um, what are they called? Flocked, float, flocked, fluted, whatever. The ones that are like frosted, like it looks like they have snow on them. Like artificial, pre-lit, like seven, eight, nine feet at home, which used to be Garden Ridge, is the best place to get things like that. They are like so affordable, under $200, like cheaper than anything you're gonna find on Amazon, seriously it's it's the best place that i've found to get an artificial tree so i'm going there right now hopefully i'm just gonna get the tree and leave like i don't really feel like walking around because that's a huge store if you've ever been there um so i'm just gonna try to get the tree and leave i need to go to target i've been driving this car so i feel like i need to put gas in it because there's like no gas and that's kind of rude to leave someone no gas in their car so i'm gonna 
get gas and then I also need to go to the grocery store because it's like four o'clock at this point. And me and the Karen in Home Goods, we were talking about steak. And I was like, dang, maybe I want steak for dinner or maybe I want lamb for dinner, like a lamb chop. Or I don't know. I think I want steak or like a good lamb chop. I definitely want like a red meat. I've been definitely into red meat lately. I'm over chicken. I'm chickened out. And just the thought of Thanksgiving being this year and like eating turkey and like baked chicken and stuff. Like I don't want chicken. I want a good old steak and some potatoes and maybe some corn. Oh my gosh. Or some like, oh, I'm definitely going to have a steak today. I'm really excited about that. Mm, I might go to a butcher shop and get a good one too. Or just Whole Foods. Depends on how I feel. I was like, what's happening? Anyway, like I said, I'm like an online shopper. I know policies. Okay, so I go to pick up my Christmas tree from at home. I had already done recon. I went online. I found the one I wanted. I knew exactly what aisle it was on. I knew it was in stock. Like, I knew all of that information. So I go to find it, and it's not like where it's supposed to be. It's nowhere where the trees are. So I walk up to an associate that works there in uniform with her nameplate on. She's on the phone, but I walk up to her anyway, and I, I don't interrupt her conversation. I'm just like kind of standing there. And then she's looking at me, like still talking. She keeps looking back like, is she gonna go away? And I'm not going away. So she puts the phone down and she goes, can I help you? And I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm looking for this item. It says it's right here. It says it's in stock. It says you have 20 left. I don't see any. This is what I came here for. And she's like, says it might be on the truck or somewhere else in the store. And I'm like, well, could you help me find it? And she basically was like, no. Like, that's, she's like, the store's so big. Like, I don't know. It could be anywhere. Like, I don't know. I was like, but it says there are 20 left. Like, I don't think it would really be just a one-off in a random location. Um, and I just need some help finding it. She basically is like, no, it's probably on the truck or something. And it's, a, it's an error. I'm like, it's usually an error when it's only a few, but not when it says 20. Anyway, I'm like, all right, I'll just grab something else. Thank you. And I walk away and she picks up the phone and she goes, anyway, I want to slap her. Girl, oh my God. Like what and what, whatever happened at customer service? Whatever happened at customer service? This bitch dead ass goes, anyway, like now that that bitch stopped bothering me. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, wow, this place is still open. Shogun and Kennesaw, like, gives me food poisoning. It's, they're still open, which is surprising to me. But that was insane to me. Like, what happened to customer service? <laughs> you people have lost your mind. If I spoke to my clients that way, I would never, ever make another dollar. I would not have a job. They, it's like the Gen Z people. They have no... They just are so savage. She literally goes, anyway, like, now that the bitch is done talking. Wild. Oh, my God. So, I walk in the house. And I see this. This is so sweet. This is the sweetest thing that anyone's ever done for me. Like, are you kidding? I literally, I said I feel like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> she always has a million flowers in her house. This is so sweet. I'm so happy. I look a little crazy, but I'm home. I'm about to cook. I'm making tonight some lamb chops, some mashed potatoes, and then just some broccolini. And then you can see in the back all of my flowers. They make me so happy. I swear I feel like Kim Kardashian right now. Um, but I wanted to pull the camera out while I do this. So I have already, hold on, let me preheat the pan. I keep, I put it on pretty high. So I've already pre or like seasoned my lamb chops. They're just like the lollipop lamb chops. They smell really good, actually. I'm gonna pour a little bit of garlic in there. Hopefully this garlic is still good. Yeah, it is. I just haven't used it in a while. Um, I'm gonna put a little garlic in here just so that I can cook with the garlic. I'm gonna add some black pepper as well and some red pepper. It 
some red pepper and a little bit more of this like jerk seasoning that I use because I feel like it needs that. I'm like completely out of red pepper. I need more because I just, I love things spicy. So everything needs red pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit of this jerk seasoning. This is the one that I use and this is like one of my favorite brands for like Caribbean food, that and Grace. Which this is just like regular seasoned jerk. But just seasoned, but I like to kind of add jerk flavor. And so I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil. I know you're not technically supposed to cook with it. It's supposed to be used in cold preparations, but I'm out of avocado oil. And I Instacarted some, but it's taking too long. And I need to go ahead and start on dinner because I'm decorating for Christmas later. So that's like the bags that you see over there. Um, you can see my tree over there. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get my Christmas decorations up. When I pulled it all out, I didn't. I realized how much it was. Hold on, I'm not like focused, that's better. But when I pulled it all out, I realized how much it was. And it may not all get done today, because it's a lot, but hopefully it does. Um, and I'm gonna change and put on like my fun pajamas, but I just wanted to cook in this, because I didn't wanna put on my expensive, like nice ass pajamas that I wanna wear to put up Christmas decorations to cook, because this is gonna like pop and get all over me, and I didn't want to stain them. So, let me give these one more toss just to make sure they're evenly coated. And I'm putting these down, fat cap, fat side down first. And I have my pan on high. Because really these are so small that if you have it on a low temperature, it's not gonna cook right. So fat side down first. As you can see, I'm kind of like putting them around the side. I'm going to wash Make sure that side is cooked. And they cook so quickly. Literally so quickly. So yeah, that side down. They cook so quickly, so I'm gonna let them cook and get like a lot of grill marks on them. And then I'm gonna lower the temperature and like baste them in some butter and garlic. They're gonna be delicious. And then right in here, I have pre-made mashed potatoes. And yes, I do, you know what? They work just as fine as regular ones. They really, they really do. I just like to dress them up and make them real. So, to my potatoes, I'm gonna add a little bit of cream. I thought up this one with a cream. I'm gonna add some butter, some sour cream, some cheese. And they're gonna taste great. So yeah, they're already coming into form. I'm gonna finish this up and I'm gonna show you what the plate looks like when it's all done. Okay, that's better. So I'm all done. And this is the finished product. So we've got some lamb chops, just some lemon pepper, broccoli, and then mashed potatoes. This is it. It will focus. Well, the flowers make it look way more decorated than it is. 
But I mean, like, you put in your first layer and then you look and see what else you need. Like, I can tell when that built in, like, I need to add something else and, like, a couple things there. These shelves are still pretty much empty. I actually want to bring this upstairs and put this in our bedroom. I'm going to move this. I want Garbage, those pumpkins out there. You, know. you said what? At home. This is the key. If you're if you're looking for an artificial tree, I promise you, you'll never find a better deal than at home. Oh, what? Do you not like the tree? I got it from at home. It used to be Garden Ridge. This actually isn't the tree that I wanted. The tree that I wanted was seven and a half feet. But the lady, when I was asking for help. She wouldn't help me, so I just settled for what I could find on my own. No, I swear to God, she was on her phone. And I walked up to her and I was like, excuse me. And then she like looks at me like, yeah. And I was like showing her what tree I wanted. And it literally said there were 20 in stock. And she was like, oh, well, like it's a really big store. So it might be somewhere else. And I was like, could you help me figure out where like it could be? And she's like, I mean... And I was like, oh, okay, thanks. And then she didn't say nothing else. She got back on the phone and was like, anyway. So I was like, okay, I'm over it. I'm just going to get what I can find. Oh my gosh, I love it. having movie night with Morgan and it's turning into um, truth or dare and she's about to call this boy I'm not gonna look like literal <laughs> literal kapui okay call him we're also watching this movie that I really really like it's like kind of a Christmas movie yeah, but she don't even know what's going on. it's called I like that or something oh it's called just friends when she's gone this is it. You're finally gonna have sex with Junior Palomino. Oh God, look at that face. Look at that body. Wait, is he gonna answer? Why are you smiling like a freaking idiot? Go on. Make a move. Make a move. Oh. And that's the tea. And that's the tea. Dang. <laughs> 